Hello everybody, my name is Gina Badiou and this year I will teach you the course of Algebra 1. Algebra 1 introduces students to variables, algebraic expressions, equations, inequalities, functions and all their multiple representations. In this class, students will develop the ability to explore and solve real-world application problems, demonstrate the appropriate use of graphing calculators, and communicate mathematical ideas clearly. This course lays the foundation for mathematical literacy that will help students to successful in every subsequent course in mathematics. The textbook in our class, it will be Algebra 1 Envision from Savas, the materials that you need during the class, a binder, spiral notebook, folder, pencils, a good eraser, sharpener, calculator scientific, but the best that you can do this year because you are preparing for the external exams, ACT, Math Level 1, it will be the graphing calculator, the Texas Instruments. By the end of this course, students, they will be able to simplify or identify equivalent algebraic expressions, represent math relationships using symbolic algebra, differentiate between linear and nonlinear functions, model and describe slope as a rate of change, identify the slope from a graph, table or equation, Evaluate variable expressions and, and functions. Identify an equation of a line from given information. Recognize the general shape and properties of functions from graphs, tables or equations. Interpret the role of coefficients and constants on graphs of linear or quadratic functions. Analyze functions by investigating domain, range, rates of change, intercepts and zeros. Model problems using functions and relations. Create and connect representations that are tabular, graphic, numeric and symbolic from a set of data. Represent quantitative relations graphically and interpret the meaning of the graph as it relates to a certain situation. Interpret and solve linear equations and inequalities. Solve and interpret graphs of systems of equations and inequalities. Expectations in the class of Algebra 1. Be respectful. This applies to your teacher and fellow students. Being respectful means showing up to class on time and starting your do now, paying attention in class, staying awake and on task, being helpful during group work, asking questions, using respectful language, respecting the classroom. You have to be prepared. Your homework should be completed on time. If you have questions, they should be written on a separate sheet to go over it in class. Your notebook should be organized and label it accurately. You should always come to class with the required materials. Also, you must be ready to participate in class and ask questions. Be responsible. You will succeed in my course if you work hard from the very beginning. In math, concepts build on one another, so it is imperative that you practice and understand each new topic. Be ready to review old concepts at the beginning of the year and if they come up later in the semester. It is your responsibility to catch up if you miss an assignment. Practice integrity. Always turn in your own work. Don't tell people the answers. Explain the process to them so they can learn how to find the answer themselves. Grading formula. A whole year, it is split into two semesters, and in each semester, there they are going to be two assignments. Let me remind it to you that Algebra 1 
course, it is required in the external ACT subject test and not only later on, Algebra 1 is the basics for mathematics high school. So, per assignment, there they are going to be assigned two tests where both of them together, they will represent 15%. Quizzes at the end of each lesson 5%, assignment and homework 10%, participation 5%, all together 35%. So assignment 1 35%, assignment 2 35%, and the final exam 30%, all together 100%. Homework policy. You will be assigned homework every day the class meets. Some homework will use websites while other assignments will be turned in on paper and graded for completion or accuracy. Since I give you answer keys, you must show all your work on homework to receive credit. If you still have a question the day of class, Write it down on a separate sheet of paper and let me know at the beginning of class and I will set aside time after the do now to address your questions or review the problem. If absent, if you miss class, you can find your missed homework assignments on the daily UC page further practice block. It is your responsibility to find out if there is any in-class work you need to make up. You will be able to turn in missed assignments late without penalty an amount of days equal to the number of classes you missed. For example, if you miss one class, you have one day after you return. If you miss three classes, you have three days after you return to complete your assignments. Cell phone electronic device policy in the Algebra 1 class. The use of cell phones is not permitted in class at any time without permission, even as calculators or the laptop if you are not asked to, your, to work with it. Phones may be taken and stored for the remainder of the period if they are being used during class iPods and other MP3 players are also not to be used as calculators. Breaking these rules will lead to demerits. Academic dishonesty. All of a student's work is expected to be his or her own work. Cheating in any form will not be tolerated. If a student is caught cheating, he or she will receive a zero on the assignment and parents, guardians will be contacted. With this said, I wish you all good luck in the new year. Thank you.